everybody, it's Julie from Valley Soul in Huntsville, Alabama. And Brent has come today. This was originally supposed to be alive at 10.30 or 9.30. <laughs> Delayed flights and all the crazy, but um, we're just gonna do a quick like 10 minute live to kind of go over the highlights of the new fall line and just let Brent kind of talk about what's happening within the line um, for this fall. So this is Brent from Hey, Hannah. how are you doing? Sorry, just got a little carried away when I got here. Flight was about an hour delayed or hour and a half. So we've but all been there. We made it. So I'll run you through a couple of uh, new things from our fall collection. One of the most exciting things is this new bottom for us. This is the Heritage Collection. It's a brand new bottom. Um, beautiful block heel. I mean, the footbed in here, it's a removable footbed, but I just want to pull this out so you can really see how substantial that is. Great cork and latex footbed, all anatomically correct. Going to mold out and give you that NAO comfort and support that you're used to. But just a beautiful tailored look. Um, They're so pretty. So you see that in that nice soft black leather with the brown sole, that little detail of that brown stitch right up there. So it just kind of pulls it all together. A couple more colors are that almond suede. This is gorgeous. I love the almond suede in person. It's just so soft and it's that perfect kind of warm fall beige that'll go with anything and then there's also this really beautiful cognac with the block heel and this is more of like an oiled leather and the suede's are pre-treated so as far as like being caught in the rain you're going to be just fine in them you're going to be great um this is another rich color this is called acorn suede um, it just came out beautiful in person it just has such a nice gorgeous rich look to it perfect for this fall season and then there's another little booty on this heel that is called the goodie. Now what's nice about this, in the black leather and in the dark brown leather, these are water resistant leathers, which is nice. So if you're going to be traveling in colder climates and wetter climates, this would be a great option for you. Yeah, this is a really good one. Water resistant black and the water resistant brown. There's the brown. And there is another color in that, the ivory. So the ivory really came out beautiful on that nice wooden sole. And those are nice if you don't like the little slit in the other one. That is a solid piece. So it definitely is going to, I would say the one without the slit pulls a little bit dressy. And then the one with the slit makes it where it can go casual or dressy. This is another favorite. This is the double zip. So if you have the helm, um, the double zip is really nice, but this is actually like a low cut shoe instead of a boot. So this is a great little shoe option for fall winter. And then do you want to talk about the wider bases? The Sintra. Yeah, this is kind of a take on one of our most popular boots, which is called the helm. It's a double zip booty. Um, but what you'll notice on the rear of it, we have that beautiful quilted pattern. Um, what's nice about the Sintra is it's actually on one of our widest platforms. So if you have a little bit of a wider foot, fuller foot, fuller instep, this might be a great option for you if you're having difficulty finding that boot to really fit. And that comes in cognac, stone, black with gray quilting. And, and a navy. And navy. I was scared to say navy because so many of you love navy. Um, this is another new one, a tall boot. So there have not been that many tall boot options. Has the stretch on the back of the calf. So if you have a more athletic calf, it will fit. Um, but if you have a narrower calf, it's not gonna gape because of this elastic. Full inside zip, so a really great fit. And this beautiful, really soft suede with that high block heel. And this is, how high is the front? Is this an inch and a half? Inch and a half. So enough to give you a little bit of height, but not so much that you can't wear it all day. Or if you're traveling to a city and just going to walk and walk, this is a really good option. We also did that. Julie just showed you the suede. There's two other leather options, that beautiful chestnut leather and our soft black. So great option in leathers for a tall boot as well. And then this is another favorite. Emily loved this one, and we will do a a slower life <laughs> um, later this week when we have more time. But 
This little clog is so cute on. It's definitely a trendy. And this is a way we're seeing more pointed toes than kind of a Western look. This is a pointed toe that is kind of chopped off. So it still gives you that wide toe. It has that kind of elongated tongue functioning buckle. And then you can kind of pop the insoles in and out of them. So if you have a custom orthotic, all of these are gonna have the function to be able to put your custom orthotic in it, which is so, so nice. And there it is in the chestnut leather with that beautiful tortoise shell buckle right there on that same last. Really want to bring out the that yeah, that's that one right there. This is a boot that I'm in love with right here because it's so unique and so different for us. It's kind of got a little bit of everything going on with that beautiful gold buckle detail, great lace inside zip so you're able to do a lot with this shoe if you don't want to lace it up all the way if you want to leave it a little sloppy or, or wear it down or open it up you can do this you can do a, a multiple things with this style but that olive suede is beautiful there we have it in a soft black and a cognac color we also have it in a i know i was just looking for my favorite color i think suede. somebody pulled I think it it's out somewhere on the floor the almond suede. Okay, yes, the almond suede is absolutely beautiful. So the nice part about a lace-up boot is if you have a narrow, no, I feel like I'm on like hyper speed, but <laughs> if, if you have a narrow foot, you can tighten it down. If you have a wider foot or a high-end step like I do, you can open it up. And then once you get it where you want it, you just zip in and out of it. So it is the perfect option. They've done the wider based shoe like this before. in the wider, but this is newer for their more narrow to medium width fit. And it is so, so pretty and very, very versatile. Oh, and now to my favorite. The Okahu, we have this shoe in three colors. We've got it here in the black, gray, and the navy. The navy, which is a new color right here. This is one of my best fall items uh, for in, in the company. When people put this on, they tell me it feels like a, a sock or a slipper. It's just so s soft. It's this engineered stretch knit. So how it just holds on the foot and how it feels on the foot is amazing. It's so good that we actually added it in three colors for fall. The navy, which we have in the store, this sage color, and this red. So we added three new colors for that. We have, for those of you who want a little tennis shoe, this is a really cute, again, a lace with a zip. So once you get it where you want it, so easy in and out. This sage is really pretty and green is trending for fall. The black is, actually, is that black or navy? That's navy, That's navy. I was gonna say. There's black and bark. <laughs> There's black, the navy, black. And then there is the, there's the black option right there with that outside zip. And then here's your bark option right there. So you got a little black detailing with the bark, a little two-tone contrast, outside zip. And those are great for now when you want to be in fall clothes and fall shoes, but it's too hot to wear boots. These little sneakers are a great way to go. This is another really cute, this is all stretch. So it literally just stretches on and off of your foot. Such a comfortable outsole, removable fit bed. It comes in the black with the gray, the lime. Ooh, that's bright. Lime with cream. It's really pretty in person. Just the ring light did not pick it up. And then this is kind of a beige with pink. And I just spotted the lace up. Are there any others, friends, that have been? Um, here we go. A new shoe. This is a new shoe on that same bottom that Julie just showed you. This is the Krypton. Uh, we're doing this in three colors. We've got the gray and the turquoise right there, just a really cool lace up. And if I get close enough, you can kind of see that awesome uh, detail on the side of the shoe and it wraps around the heel onto the other side. So you can see how that goes all the way around. Um, then we have, it in a, we have it in a black and a gray combo. So there you can see it in the black and the gray combo. And then just another, uh, another blue and gray combo right there for you. So. Let me zoom out. And, and Melissa, we have and somebody buying. And that's called the Krypton. Oh, we have somebody buying two now, so you kind of get to see what happens with the picking the balloons and popping them and people screaming because <laughs> this is the other leather color. It is really pretty. We'll let her pop a balloon. Here we go. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, there it is. And 
It's a 10, so 10 off. Wow. That's it. Awesome. So we, the 50 is still out there, so it's not too late to get the $50 money balloon, which is crazy. It never lasts this long. Lasts this long. Um, but I think we're down to just a few. Three. So you've got a really good chance. Um, really pretty. This I love this color. In this same color, the Halney, which as you know, I wear the shoe in navy all the time. It's one of my favorite shoes. They did it in this really beautiful, rich, warm, beige suede. And then this one is new. So this, for those of you who love that Koru bottom, which is just a really comfortable bottom from the get-go with minimal breaking in, this has Velcro adjustability. It has a faux buckle there, but just kind of dresses it up a little bit. And then that removable footbed, I've got to pop it out because the back ones are glued in there. And you can put in your custom orthotic in its place. So really nice little slip-on. This would be so cute with a dress or some of like the tweed crop pants that are really in right now. If you're a teacher, this would be a great little teacher shoe. So, so, so cute. So thank you so much to Brent for coming today. He's got to run back to the airport, which is crazy. All these flights, Emily and I will go live on Wednesday with the samples and kind of slow down and walk through them a little bit more. But until six today, the money balloons will be here. The samples will be here for the next several weeks. So if you miss today, we get to keep them. Um, so stop in, shop the trunk show. This stuff has not even landed in the US yet. We were hoping to get a shipment of them this week, but they didn't land in time. So this is like a, you'll be one of the first ones in the US to have them, um, which is so cool for Huntsville, Alabama. So, Brent, thank you so much for coming. Thank and you, sir. It was a quick segment. Sorry I didn't make it here on time, but what are you going to do? I know. It was it's just like one of those everybody's going to understand a delayed flight. And it was Delta. It wasn't like it wasn't Spirit. Spirit or Frontier or <laughs> yeah. American. My or husband's Allegiant. like American. My husband thinks American is like the most delayed airline of all time. He's like, if somebody's going to be delayed, it's American. He, he almost, we almost, we went to no, Delta's he usually, today. Delta's usually yeah. great. I never have a problem. Delta was going to be $800 more for us to fly to Napa a few weeks ago. And he was like, I think it's worth it. And I was like, I don't, I don't think it's worth it. Oh, it is. Some of these airlines. <laughs> but thank you for shopping with us. And I hope that you enjoyed this little snip, snippet. And Emily and I will go through them in normal speed, not um, hyper speed. Um, later this week. So we'll see you guys soon. Thanks.